Hi students, this is Suchya Datta, SST teacher and now I am going to teach you the second chapter of Geography class 7th and the name of the chapter is Inside Our Earth. Our Earth is a dynamic planet and we observe so many wonderful things, animals, human beings on the earth. There are flowers, there are butterflies, there are lovely human beings, there are animals. So there is a wonderful variety of flora and fauna available on the earth. But you keep wondering as to what lies inside our earth. Is it the same? What is there inside? If we keep digging, what are we going to get inside our earth? So if you want to understand this, you will have to understand that earth is like an onion. When you start peeling the onion, there is a layer after layer, layer after layer. Similarly, in the earth also, there are many layers. And we are going to read about the three main layers of the earth, which is the crust, the mental and the core. Now, let me tell you about the first layer of the earth which is called the crust. The crust is the uppermost layer of the earth. That is when you dig, the first layer that you get is called as the crust. This is the thinnest of the layer that we have and it is only 35 kilometers on the continental mass and just 5 kilometers on the ocean floors. When we talk of the crust on the continental mass, it is made up of silica and aluminia. Therefore, it is also termed as sial. When we talk of the crust on the ocean floor, then it is made of silica and magnesium. That is why it is called as cyma. You see here once again, Silica when combines with aluminia will make sil plus sil plus l which is sial. When it is sil plus ma it is sima. Okay. Then the second layer of the earth is called as the mental. This layer is just below the crust. And it extends up to the depth of 2900 kilometers below the crust. So that is about the various layers of the earth that you have observed. And the next layer, what was it? I told you at the beginning, first is the crust, second is the mental and third is the core. Core I am going to talk about in the next clipping. When we were talking of the layers of the earth, you've already seen the crust and the mantle. Now let's talk about the core layer of the earth. This is the innermost layer of the earth and it has a radius of around 3500 kilometers. As it is deep inside, that is why it has high temperature and pressure. This layer is made up of nickel and iron, therefore it is called as knife. So children, you have already observed that the three major layers of the earth are the crust, the mental and the core. The crust is the uppermost layer, the mental is the middle layer and core is the innermost layer of the earth. Now let's talk about rocks and minerals. Now what is a rock? Rock is in fact a natural mass made of mineral matter on the earth crust. So that is definition of the word rock. So what is a rock? Rock is a natural mass made up of mineral matter on the earth crust. Now Again, we have to see as to what are the various kinds of rocks and how they are made. First of all, I'll tell you about the 
igneous rocks the igneous rock is made when the molten magma comes out suddenly and cools on the surface of the earth or inside the earth that's called as the igneous rock so you have to remember that igneous rock is first of all made up of molten magma as far as igneous rock is concerned it is again subdivided into two intrusive rocks and the extrusive rocks the intrusive igneous rocks are those rocks wherein the molten magma cools inside the earth and since it cools very slow that is why the grains are long structured and the best example is of granite this is when the magma is cooling inside the earth so that is termed as the intrusive igneous rock but what happens when the magma cools on the surface of the earth this is called as extrusive igneous rock that is when the magma is cooling on the surface now in the extrusive we see that the magma actually cools very quickly that is why it has very fine structure and the best example is that of basalt so remember one thing igneous rock is subdivided into intrusive and extrusive intrusive means inside extrusive means comes from the word exterior means outside here the formation is slow here the formation is quick of course the basic thing is that the igneous rock is made up of the molten magma when it cools down and the word igneous as such comes from the latin word which means fire you have already seen about the first kind of rock that's the igneous rock i'll be talking about the second kind of rock and that is the sedimentary rock the word itself means that it is the result of the sediments okay so here we see that the rocks they roll each other and then they crack and then hit each other and small fragments are made then these small fragments are made into sediments by the usage of the wind and the water which actually deposit and transport them then they are compressed and hardened and this ultimately gives the formation of sedimentary rock the word sedimentary comes from the latin word which means to settle down so here you are saying that the rocks are actually cracking they are rolling they are hitting fragments are formed and then the sedimentation is done that is they are deposited they are transported by the agents like wind and water and ultimately compressed and hardened and then they settle down and is the formation of the second type of rock that is the sedimentary rock the word igneous if you remember meant fire sedimentary means to settle down fire may because it was made from the molten magma and sedimentary because they ultimately settling down the fragments and thus making the rock then the third type of rock, rock that we have is the metamorphic rock the metamorphic rock is in fact made up of the igneous and the sedimentary rock which change and form the metamorphic rock and this is by the pressure and the heat so the first two rocks when they change due to the heat and the pressure they make themselves into the metamorphic rocks and the word metamorphic 
comes from the Latin word again and it means to change. So you see beautifully they've been translated. The first one because of the molten magma is called as fire. The second one, the settling down. And the third one, metamorphic, the change which occurs. This is because the igneous and the sedimentary rocks are changing into the metamorphic rock. The example that I can give you here is that the clay actually becomes slate which is a metamorphic rock and the limestone becomes the marble which is a metamorphic rock. So you remember that there are three layers and there are three kinds of rocks. And now what are actually the uses of the rocks? The rocks that we have, the stones that we have are used in making houses and buildings. But for you, I think the biggest use that you see is that you play various games with stones. You've seen children playing Pithu, you've seen children playing Stapu, all this is done by stones. So those are the various usages of rocks and I'm sure you can actually think of hundreds other uses of rocks yourself. Now the last and the most important part of the chapter and that is rock cycle. As the name itself indicates, the rock cycle means the transformation of one formation of rock into another is called as the rock cycle. We'll try and understand what this rock cycle is all about. It's already clear with you that the magma when cools down then it makes or forms the igneous rock then the igneous rock when it is broken down becomes into sediments and is deposited and carried by wind and water forms sedimentary rock then the igneous and the sedimentary rock when they are treated with heat and pressure, they form the metamorphic rock. So this is already clear to you. But now what you have to understand is that the metamorphic rock, when it is given heat and pressure, then the molten magma is formed. When the molten magma cools down and it solidifies, then the igneous rock is formed. So here once again you have to understand that the magma makes the sedimentary rock and together magma and sedimentary form the metamorphic rock. This was made of the molten magma. This is broken down and forms into sediment sedimentary. Heat and pressure when applied to igneous and sedimentary is making the metamorphic rock and the metamorphic rock when heat and pressure is applied to this, it goes back to the first state that is the magma state. Then this magma state when it solidifies, then once again the igneous rock is made. So it is breaking from one to another to the second to the third, third to the first and this in fact is termed as the rock cycle. That is the transformation of the one formation of rock into another. Fine. Now I have to tell you about minerals. Minerals are equally important to mankind and they are most importantly used as fuels like and you have the CNG, you have the petroleum. Then they are used in industries that is the various metals that you have. It is also used in medicines and also used in fertilizers. So, the minerals are equally important. That was all about your chapter. Thank you.